Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. Is that jingle not just the best thing to ever happen to this YouTube channel? I am so happy I got that done. Anyways, in this episode, I've got a whole bunch more t-shirts for you here. And I just want to quickly say a few things before I start. Number one, if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed and you have no idea what these episodes even are, there's a whole playlist of Are Your Designs Any Good? I bring out a new episode of every Saturday in this topic. And, uh, and if you want to get involved, the link is in the description for you to submit your t-shirts to my email. And that's, that's that part. The next part I want to say is how the structure of this works. Basically, this is split into three different categories. When I look at your design, I will, I'll have a look and I've written it down, but I don't know why I've written it down. I kind of remember this off my heart. I'm going to tell you what I think of the design. I'm going to tell you what I think, uh, like who the design can be marketed to. And then I'm going to tell you like improvements that you could probably make to the design if it needs any improvements. So without further ado, I've got my, uh, my iPad here. I, I want this video to last no more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to do as many designs as I can in 15 minutes. And then bear in mind, if your design is not shown, it will be in a future episode. So don't worry if your design isn't on this episode. Let's start with the first design. I'm going to record my iPad screen. Let's start with the first design, shall we? Right, we've got easily distracted by dogs. Okay. Okay, well, firstly, what I think of this design. Okay, well, I like that you only use two fonts. I like that the dogs um, is in like a different, not font, because I think it's still the same font, kind of. It's just one is bolded and one isn't. Um, it's a very, very cute picture of the dog. I think it would actually work better if it didn't have the body, just the face, but whatever. Um, now, look, it's, it's a very, very simple design. And these are the kind of designs that tend to work because they're so simple. The only thing is you have to really make sure that you, you, you target this well. So, moving on to the targeting. Well, clearly you want to target, you know, dog lovers, and in terms of specific targeting you can do, you can target on Facebook. If you're targeting ads, if you're using paid ads, you can target people who like specific dog shelters, all that kind of stuff, because those people are going to be the the highest, like most passionate dog fans. Now, if you're not doing ads, you don't know who to target, well, you can create an Instagram page about dogs. You can get tons of pictures on Unsplash or Google or whatever, make sure they're royalty free. And you can post on your Instagram page and you can create an entire dog related theme page and every so often you'll sprinkle in this t-shirt maybe you'll put it in the story or something right improvements i would make to this design well like i said it's a pretty good design i would probably get rid of the body of the dog just because it's not adding anything it's just taking up more space and then i would maybe have the easy distracted by like curved like that so it's at the moment it's very you can see it's like very blocked out like your words and then the dog and then words again. If you have it like all like curved round and then curved up maybe, you can have like a little, it looks like a little picture rather than just text plonked in. So that's how I would improve it. I'm getting very hot. Moving on. Oh gosh, this is this is a not an easy one to, to, to have a look at. Let me just make sure the camera is still focused on me. Yeah, it is. The harder you work, the luckier you get. Okay, this is, I mean, I, I like this, I like this phrase, the harder you work, the luckier you get. The The way you've done it, I just, no, I'm not happy. It's impossible to read harder. It's impossible to read luckier. The two thes don't even look like thes, they just look like pixels. Um, the guy there is quite cool actually. It's quite a cool little graphic of that guy. It looks like he's working, a briefcase, whatever. But it's very, very hard to see and it's, as soon as like it's smaller, like this is quite big, right? Like this, this is big, you can see. But it's on a t-shirt, smaller, it's gonna be basically impossible to, to even be able to read this. Um, so in terms of who you would target, I have no idea who you would target. You would target people like me, I guess. Entrepreneurs, people who like business books, people who are into that kind of like niche and topic. You would maybe make an entrepreneur type of Instagram channel. You would use my type of Instagram channel to promote your t-shirt on. And then in terms of improvements, you need to fix the wording and, and, and not the wording, but you need to fix the, the, the font and the clarity of the words. The you work, you get is fine, but the harder, the luckier, it's very, very difficult to read. All right, let's move on. 
It's hard to beat a person who never gives up. Okay. That is true. I, I, I feel like I'm one of those people. I, I never give up. It's very hard to win when you're going up against someone who never gives up. Um, this, I assume, is in relation to the working out niche. I do like the font. It's a cool font. Um, I don't like how block it is. It's just there. You want to do something with it. Make it a bit more interesting. Um, what else I don't like is this this little picture. I don't know if you've taken this from Placeit or Canva or something, but it just looks so generic. It doesn't look custom at all, um, which leads me to believe that other people will also have it. And not that that's a problem, but it just, it's nothing special about it. You want it to be special, okay? Um, in terms of who you would target, I guess you would target people who go to the gym. You would target uh, people who, you could target entrepreneurs as well, I guess, because it's the same thing as, no, you wouldn't want to give up in, in business. The targeting is very broad, basically. You could target, a, this t-shirt applies to a lot of people. Um, but look, I love the sentence. It's hard to beat a person who never gives up. That is good. Work on that. And this is where I'm going with the improvement section. Work on that sentence and make a better design out of that sentence, okay? But change this. Just lash it. That's cool. This is cool. Um, I, I Personally, I don't know if this is a phrase. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Remember, all of this is my opinions of me just critiquing your work, what I think. Other people might actually like them. Other people might not like them. This is just what I think. So if I don't understand a t-shirt, obviously I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you I don't understand it. But, um, but just lash it. Okay, so it's it's, it sounds like a cool concept. It does, and and um, it is very cool. The thing you might be having, you might struggle with, is the eyes, the eyeshadow. It's got a lot of colors in it, and not a lot of print-on-demand companies will accept thousands of colors. And I know it doesn't look like it has thousands of colors, but it, it does because it's gradients, gradients of thousands of colors, maybe even millions. But anyways, moving on, who you would target? I I don't know who you would target. Maybe people into makeup, into eyelashes, whatever. This is I don't understand because I don't understand the phrase. I don't know who you would target. In terms of improvements though, I would say you've got three fonts going on. Just Lash It are three different fonts. Change the it to the same font and same color as Just and then keep the Lash as it is. That way you've got two fonts and the Just and the It are the same font and it kind of brings it all back together as one. And um, I guess the eye placement is, is okay. I mean, it's, it's a bit creepy, but it's okay. And then I would say just move the whole thing a bit higher up. But other than that, it's a pretty cool design. I kind of like it. Right, um, oh gosh, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. It looks like a duck underwater with bubbles holding a knife or a flag or a snake, a shell. What is going on in this t-shirt? This is, this is, this is, Okay, I can't really comment on this because I have no idea what's happening here. In one picture, it looks like a duck in a robe. Another, okay, I'm gonna just move straight on to who you would target. And that is, I have no idea. People who like sea ducks, sea creatures. I don't know what's happening here. So it's very hard to, to talk about this design. It, it looks cool, but I don't understand the direction of it. Um, I like the graphic. The graphic is, the actual individual duck is a really cool graphic. If you can have that just like, on the like over here like on the bottom over here just one single one that could be cool the fact that you've got it all over is i don't really understand so much um in terms of improvements that, i mean that's that's the improvement i would say let me make sure it's still focused yeah that's the improvement i would say um i'm gonna move on thanks for sending in your design though i survived wfh with my twin babies what's your excuse Am I being really stupid here? What's WFH? Let me Google this. Ah! I understand. How do I not know what this is? I survived WFH with my twin babies. What's your excuse? What, WFH is work from home. So basically I survived working from home with my twin babies. I actually really like this. And you know what? I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The font is brilliant. Um, I like that you've used two fonts. Um, I don't like the orange color of the what's your, your what's your excuse i would think it would be better just to cut out from the actual yellow box and have it like that but whatever we'll get into that later 
Um, the sentence is brilliant. I survived. Um, a lot of people might not know what WFH is immediately, or maybe I was just being stupid. That wouldn't surprise me. Um, but it's a cool design. Who would you target? You could target work from home. Um, you could have an Instagram page dedicated to working from home, tips, tricks, all these kind of things. If you want to do ads on Facebook or Pinterest, you can target people who work from home. So that's really cool. In terms of improvements, like I said, I would cut out the what's your excuse from the box there. And um, other than that, I'd move it up a tiny bit. So have it a bit nearer to the neck but I would move the with my closer together so that it's in line. The with is in line with the top of the WFH and the my is in line with the, do the, the bottom of the WFH. That way it feels like a line. Um, but other than that, it's spot on. Really, really nice design. I really like it and I like the phrase. Okay, this is just a graphic, I think. Okay, well, okay. So this kind of design here, it's really cool. I, I, I love the graphic. I love it on the arms. I love it coming down the neck. However, this is more of like something you would see in Zara or River Island or, you know, a shop that has fashion lines and, you know, people are coming in and browsing. This being as a print on demand t-shirt, I don't see it doing very well because who are you targeting? Like there's no, there's no aim. There's no niche. There's no specific market that would buy this. You just kind of, this is the kind of thing you have on a shelf in a store and someone looks at it and they go, that's kind of nice, I'll buy it. But no one is going to look online and buy this. I'm sorry, I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, again, who you target, I don't know. And in terms of improvements, I don't necessarily think it is improvements. It just needs to be put in the right setting. So you could 100% take this to Zara and be like, do you like this design? Do you want it? Kind of thing. But I would never put this on in, like online. In that case, I would just, if you're just trying to stick to online, I would move on. All right, we've got time for maybe one or two more designs. God equals heart. Okay, this is simple, very basic. Um, I like that you've used one font. Um, I'm gonna skip past what I like now. I'm gonna go on to the targeting. I guess you would target religious people, Christians, Jews, I don't know, don't target atheists, that's for sure. But basically, I guess you just gotta target people who are religious. Um, quite a lot of people who are religious, so that's gonna be quite a difficult thing to target. Um, in terms of improvements, I am not a fan of the size of that heart. I'm not a fan of how red it is on the blue. I'm not a fan of the font of the word God. Uh, the whole structure of it, God equals love. I don't like the sentence, I don't like the phrase. I would never wear it, and I don't know anyone who would wear it. Maybe some super Bible touting, touting, is that the right word? Bible loving. A uh, 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 lady would wear it. Man would wear it. I don't know, but I don't. I don't see much hope with this kind of design. And let's save this for next episode. All right, amazing. I hope you like this. If your episode, if your if your design wasn't in this episode, again, I apologize, but it will be in future episodes. I can only do so many in order to keep this under fifteen minutes. I just want to say thank you so so much for watching these episodes. Let me know in the comments down below if you're liking these episodes. If I should even bother continuing. And uh, I just like hearing, I like hearing your support. It's really, I really appreciate all the comments, the likes. Let's try and get this video to, I don't know, 500 likes. 